I am the lead product owner for Folio. I was actually the first product owner on the project. Product owner is a role from the um, Agile, Scrum Agile framework. Um, and basically what product owners do is they serve as a proxy for the, the users or the customers, right? So it's our jobs uh, to work with the subject matter experts to understand what their business needs are, um, what problems they're trying to solve, um, and we sort of synthesize the information that we gather from them um, and then work with other stakeholders, UX designers, um, developers, to design solutions that solve their problems. There's a lot that excites me about Folio. Folio is just, in, a, in of itself, it's, a, it's an exciting project because for the first time, librarians are developing their own ILS. And the fact that we have so many librarians from all over the place doing this means that we're producing something that any library can use. I think for us it's quite new. We have never done this before. This international community with the colleagues from America, from Great Britain, now from Denmark, from Sweden, that is really great. And um, the support inside that community, uh, the approach of the software to be developed from the user-centric view, the UX UI design goes first and then the code is developed. I think that are new approaches for us and that where we see a lot of advantages for us. Uh, so I think the, the platform, when I look at it, it, it kind of looks easy to use and friendly. Uh, because some other systems that I've used, it's just you you um, you go to some settings and it's just terrifying uh, because there's so much. From day one, I have been so impressed with the developers. The first group of developers I met were the ones at Index Data. I went to Copenhagen uh, shortly after I joined the project, and I met uh, a lot of the developers, and I was just everyone I. Each developer I met was more impressive than the next. Was, uh, <clears throat> we are always doing uh, things for money and um, I felt to do something that is good for the, for the people. Collecting the, the knowledge of the world, it's an interesting task and sharing it, it, it feels even more interesting to me. Well, I think the community is great. I mean, you know, it's a uh, plus the way it just grows. I was, you know, we, we've been part of the project from the start when it was essentially 30 people uh, meeting uh, during those meetups. I think we have over 160 or 190. So it's just, you know, exploding in terms of uh, community and involvement. It uh, tries to solve some interesting issues for big organizations like universities uh, so that's challenging so that's uh, that's that's uh, that's interesting to work with uh, we're working with really modern technologies uh, so that's exciting our local library systems we are running at the moment are a little bit at the end of their life cycle it takes more and more effort to get to keep them alive to keep them up to date and uh, to fulfill the requirements of data security and data ownership Library software is, transfer, is running a long time, so it needs to be very stable and always up to date and very sustainable so that we can work throughout the changing needs of the libraries on a stable technology t stack. So that's why we need modern and future-proof technology. I think it allows different organizations to pull uh, their, their strengths and their uh, resources together to create something that is sort of more generally useful. So I think that's the biggest strength. Otherwise, you end up with you know, organizations building software that is essentially useful only, only for their own sake.